In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to make this beret. I'm using the 5mm. First, we're going to start with the magic loop. For round one, a single crochet into this loop and chain three. Do that five more times. Slip stitch into the first single crochet. For round two, chain three. One single crochet into the chain three loop here. Then we're going to put a stitch marker into this loop, the new one we just made. So after the single crochet, chain 3, single crochet into the next loop, and repeat. single crochet into the last loop before the stitch marker take off the stitch marker for round 3 chain 4 put on the stitch marker on this one We're gonna keep the stitch marker at the beginning of every round so we don't lose track. And from now on, whenever you see a chain, you're gonna work two single crochet into that first. Then single crochet into the next stitch. So that's three single crochets. Chain 4. Here's another chain. So 2 single crochets. Then 1 into the next stitch, which is a single crochet. Chain 4. Keep repeating that until you reach the stitch marker. Then here's the stitch marker. That means we're gonna start round four. So chain four. And you're always gonna chain four from now on, by the way. And put the stitch marker back on. Here's where the stitch marker comes in handy. Every time we go past the stitch marker, we put one more single crochet in between the chain fours. So before there's three, after it's four. 
so two into this chain and one into the next two stitches so that's four single crochets in total chain four and repeat that You notice whenever we come back to the stitch marker, we are always one stitch away from the chain with the marker. So round five, chain four. And from here, five single crochets between chain fours. So that means two into this chain. and the rest three into the next three stitches chain four and repeat so that's round five round six chain four and six single crochets and repeat so that's two into the chain and four into the next four stitches round seven chain four and seven single crochets and repeat always two single crochets into the chain first and then put the rest single crochets into the rest stitches so follow this pattern I'll meet you up when you complete round 16 you'll know it's round 16 because there are 16 single crochets between every chain 4 the next round which is round 17 we're gonna make a little change so chain 4 one single crochet into the chain and normally we work 17 single crochets next but instead we're gonna put 16 single crochets between every chain 4 and repeat from round 18 to 22 they are the same as round 17 so chain 4 one single crochet into the chain and then put 15 single crochets and repeat so we're going to maintain the same stitch number for those six rows this is as wide as the beret goes if you feel like the top is not big enough you can continue increasing that means for round 17 you're going to keep increasing by putting 17 single crochets between every chain four and round 18 you're gonna put 18 single crochets between chain fours once you stop increasing you're gonna work six more rows with the same stitch number for round 23 we're gonna switch color but we're still gonna maintain the same stitch number that's still one into the chain and then 15 single crochets When you come back around, put a single crochet into this chain directly. And for the next row, which is row 24, we're going to make some decrease. 
so into the first single crochet here pull up a loop into the next stitch one more loop and yarn over pull through so that's one decrease followed by two regular single crochets then we're going to repeat from there one decrease two single crochets into the chain four one single crochet then just keep doing the same stitches one decrease two single crochets when you come back around slip stitch into the single crochet which is on top of the chain four round 25 same stitch number but we're not going to go under both loops of each stitch instead we're just going to go under the back loop like this that's going to allow the brim to fold inwards a little bit from this row For the next two rows, we're going to do regular half double crochets with the same stitch number. So chain two into the next stitch, a half double crochet, and just keep putting half double crochets along this row without any increase or decrease. So when you come back around, slip stitch on top of this chain 2, then chain 2 again, start another row of half double crochets, and come back, slip stitch on top of this chain 2, that makes row 26 and 27. The next row, which is row 28, we're going to make some decrease. So chain 2 into the next two stitches a half double crochet then we're going to make a decrease here so yarn over into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over again into the next stitch one more loop so that's five loops on the hook now and yarn over pull through all of them that's one decrease and we're just going to repeat so two regular half double crochets and one decrease like that Again, when you come back around, slip stitch. For the last few rows, we're going to do front post, back post, half double crochets. So chain two. We're going to start with the front post. Insert into the next stitch. For regular half double crochet, we go up like this. But for front post, we're going to go straight into the next stitch from the back yarn over pull the loop around the stitch and finish the half double crochet next we're going to do a back post so we're going to insert from the back around the stitch pull the loop around the stitch and finish so we're going to alternate between the front and back posts like that
slip stitch and chain two to start the next row. So I've worked in purple from round 29 to 32, that's four rounds, and I'm going to switch to brown, do another two rounds. This is how you switch color in between. Insert hook on top of the chain two, and switch to brown. Complete the slip stitch, then do another two rounds. Then simply fasten off to finish this piece. So there you have it. This is how I crochet this spiral beret. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.